If you're watching today, uh, I just got back from Vegas. Uh, it was a short two day vacation. It was really nice. I, I know a bunch of people have been coming in and being like, how was Vegas? So I'll answer it here for everyone. Uh, oh, everyone keeps coming in and asks two questions. One, how is Vegas? And two, did you win money? The answer to both is yes. Okay. Uh, following up with that, uh, I also did lose a shit ton of money. In the end, I ended up quite down, but it was quite interesting. I have to tell you guys, for those of you who weren't here for it, the water bottle story, aka the, the dumbest mistake I've made in my life, the, the most I've ever valued a water bottle, and I will never value a water bottle ever again. In Vegas, while waiting for my friends to get ready for lunch, I went to the blackjack table. And with a thousand dollars, I went up to two thousand. That's right. I won a lot of hands and I ended up doubling my money. One thousand to two thousand pog. And then I said, all right, I gotta go hang out with my friends soon. Cash me out, banker. I'm satisfied. I don't want to like lose all this money and then be depressed going into the lunch with my friends. And then they give me my money and I'm standing there. And then as I leave, I remember, wait, I ordered a water. I ordered a water bottle and I was thinking about like this old grandpa, the waiter, coming back with the water is like, where is he? I have his water. So I was like, okay, I'll stay until the water gets here. And then I just sat there for like 15 seconds, like, okay, fine, I'll play more. And then I lost it all. I lost it all by the time I got my water. I'm pretty sure what happened was the pit boss was like, guys, he's winning money. He's wi he's winning too much money. Initiate operation water bottle, right? And then the, the grandpa just like sits there outside waiting. He's just like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was really sad. I felt really dumb. Like, I don't mind losing money in Vegas. That's honestly what you should expect when you go. But man, that was just a really dumb reason. F the old man, dude. I should have just left. But overall, Vegas was great. Uh, we saw Penn and Teller, the magicians. I didn't know that they were so old. I didn't know Teller was 78 years old. That's really ridiculous that he performs three days a week or three nights a week and does like these very intensive routines. It's crazy. I watched him eat a bunch of needles and I watched him conjure a bunch of coins out of nowhere. And I realized there's a problem with watching things live. I can't see anything. I, I can't f***ing see. Like I didn't get front row seats. I bought I bought normal human seats. I had plebeian seats. I had pleb seats. I was like decently far away. I I can't see what's going on. Like, Penn is like, all right, and now he like brings up a beautiful woman and is like, I'm gonna snap my fingers and your bra is gonna disappear. And it's like, Psh, and everyone's just like, yes, yes, let's go. Right, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I look like the binoculars emo. I'm like, wait, is it really off? Did it work? It was so sad. I, I like missed out on all the good stuff. And then um, we saw Cirque du Soleil. I don't, I don't think I pronounced that right. But like the the circus thing. And I had the worst experience. This the, the 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 performance was fine, but I went in there very tired. Okay. And the literal worst thing that could have happened happened. All right. No, I didn't poop my pants. I went in very tired, exhausted from a night out with friends. I sit down in the seat and instantly. They start off doing a couple like introductions, a couple very simple routines. And then about five minutes into me falling asleep, everyone's just like, yes, that was amazing. And I'm like, huh, huh, what, what, what'd they do? And then it's like, you didn't see the girl just eat the other girl and then vomit her out 10 feet into the air. And then she did a flip. And I was like, no, I was sleeping. I, I, the, the routine was really boring. It's like, no, they were like ramping up. And then after everyone wakes up or ever, after everyone claps, the lights go dim again and everything calms down and they start doing like a basic routine again. And the music goes really quiet. And they do these easy tricks. And then I fall asleep. And then I wake up again five minutes later. Everyone's like, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They have like this thing where like they, they like steadily make it harder and harder, do a really big trick and then calm down. And then, and I just kept on falling asleep. And then I wake up, I wake up as everyone's clapping after they do something really amazing. And then we, we finally leave after an hour and a half of this routine where I just cannot stay awake. And all I see are like really, like the really beginner stuff before they start doing the complicated bits. And I keep falling asleep and I just like wake up like, God fucking damn it. We leave the place afterwards. All my friends, I go in a group of 16. They're all just like, man, that was so cool. Did you see when they did the triple flip? Did you see when she balanced the girl on her foot? Did you see when, did you see when they literally brought out a gigantic bull and then they just danced on it? I didn't see any of this. I saw like, I saw like some women go like, Right? And then like, I didn't know, I didn't see the breakdance part. I didn't see the part where they played Cotton Night Joe and all started doing cartwheels. I missed all the good parts. It was so infuriating. I paid $70 for like this, this like fall asleep while they're doing something really boring. And then uh, as it ramps up, I completely miss it. And then I wake up right after it happens because everyone starts clapping. It's, it was so bad. I was so upset. Like I will never underestimate like going tired to an event ever again. It's like after like hours and hours of walking out in the heat and the sun, you sit down in a nice chair, it's cool and dark. 
Oh, uh, also, we played golf. We played it. We played Top Golf. It was very interesting. Uh, I'll show you guys a quick video. Uh, Top Golf. It's like golf mixed with bowling. It's actually very cool. It's just like you're at a golf range with your friends, and it's like Albert, it's your turn, and then you you hit the ball. You're like. Whoosh. And you like aim for targets and you get points. It's kind of like bowling. Anyway, so here is a video of Annie. Uh, beautiful form. Here is a video of Annie. Beautiful form. Here I try to find the ball, but it didn't go far enough to appear in the camera. I'm like, where's the ball? It went like eight feet. Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty cool. Overall, I would say, hey, why am I so blurred? Oh, I look like censored pornography. Overall, I would say Vegas was a success. I had a fun time. I came back feeling refreshed. But uh, today we, we drove like six hours. There was a car accident, which made the drive an hour longer. Uh, and as soon as I got home, I had zero patience and I just started turning on my stream. Big mistake. I was edgy and angry and tired and I played really slow. That was my bad. When I see you guys tomorrow, let's pretend today didn't exist. I played like shit and I was so slow and cranky. That's what I get for like not getting a proper night's rest before streaming. All right, tomorrow I'll be better. All right, I promise. Every single person in this stream tonight is granted one coupon. One coupon for one parentheses, one pog performance. All right, if you want to redeem it, all you have to do is just write, hello, I would like to redeem my one parentheses, one pog performance coupon for one parentheses, one pog first place. There we go, I copied it. You can go ahead and copy and paste it tomorrow. You just type that. This offer expires tomorrow, so use it soon. I, I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. I'm gonna put on the Wordle. I'm gonna play a few ad breaks and I'll see you guys when I wake up. Thanks for watching. See you guys in like 12 hours.